Hello, and welcome to NPS Now, the remote support team for monolithic power systems. My name is Brian, and today we'll be going over the EV1528, the evaluation board for the MP1528 LED driver from NPS. Let's get started. The EV1528 board is meant to drive up to nine series white LEDs from a single lithium ion battery. Out of the box, the board is set to obtain an LED current of 20 milliamps. This is adjustable by changing the voltage of the BRT pin and replacing R1 located just below the 1528 on the board. The input power and ground pins are located on the right side of the board. On the bottom, from left to right, you'll find the enable pin, ground pin, and the brightness control pin labeled BRT. For this review, we'll be using three series LEDs. If your test is using less than nine LEDs, solder across the unused pads or just add a wire to complete the series. We'll be using two power supplies for testing the board. One for input power and the enable signal, and the other for the BRT brightness control signal. Following the data sheet, the input voltage range for the EV1528 is between 2.7 and 5.5 volts. For this test, we'll be using 5 volts as our input power and a low input current limit. The MP1528 is designed to use a DC voltage or a PWM signal to control the brightness. For this test, we'll be using a DC voltage between 0.2 and 1.2 volts, along with the low input current limit. If you're using a PWM signal, be sure to set the minimum voltage less than 0.18 volts, the maximum voltage over 1.2 volts, and the signal frequency between 100 and 400 hertz. As noted in the datasheet for the MP1528, you will need to supply a high signal, typically 1.2 volts, to the enable pin for the device to turn on. For automatic startup, you can connect the input power signal to the enable pin, just like our setup right now. If you plan to drive the enable signal higher than 6 volts, we recommend inserting a 100 kilo ohm resistor in series with the pin. No matter what you choose, be sure to never leave the enable pin floating. With the supply limit set and turned off, make the appropriate connections to your board. Input power, enable, ground, and brightness control. Once all the connections are complete, turn on your input power to start up the device. Next, start increasing your BRT signal and note the increasing brightness of the LEDs. Now let's dim them. Per the data sheet, do not exceed six volts for the brightness control signal. To learn more about the MP1528 and its eval board or other products MPS has to offer, visit the product page on our website. To speak directly with one of our expert engineers, contact NPS now for quick support. Thanks for joining us, and we look forward to hearing from you.